The Mumbai terrorism attack is a really interesting case study. Um, so the day that that happened, I first found out about it on Twitter and I was scraping all the major news sites and there was no coverage anywhere. We immediately made it our front page story. We had actually already gotten a submission from one of our contributors. Ground Report has a strong following in India and Southeast Asia, and so we were already there. We already had people there using our platform who immediately wanted to report the news. After that point, we did some outreach via Twitter to find reporters who were on the ground in Mumbai. And after vetting their credentials, they began posting reports regularly. And the interesting thing about the reports is it not only was more up-to-date information than we were getting from the mainstream media, usually about four hours in advance of these huge mainstream media outlets, which indicates maybe the lag between how quickly you can act as one of these larger outlets versus a, a smaller, more agile outlet like Ground Report. We were also getting really interesting opinion pieces on how people were feeling, all kinds of context about the political situation that was lost in a lot of these drier reports that just said, you know, casualties and locations. It was part of a larger narrative for a lot of Indian people. It was their September 11, and we were able to get all of this different context and, and emotional flavor into our reporting. And then after that point, we started to be cited in TechCrunch, which is one of the earlier accounts. That led to Wired, that led to AFP, that led to BBC, etc. It just grew as a lot of these things grow. And over the course of the terrorism attacks in Mumbai, we had over 100 original reports. Read and watch more from Rachel Stern at btnn.tv.